The Gongola People's Forum, made up of 72 ethnic nationalities of the former Gongola state, are here to promote peaceful coexistence amidst its diversity. Members of the forum roll out their drums as they display their rich cultural heritage at the Mahmoud Ribadu Square in Yola. The chairman of the forum set the tone for the event, saying the group is devoid of sectional sentiment, just as the Secretary General of Afeni Ferry applauds the objective of the forum. The occasion invariably set in motion the process of eliminating fault lines in our horizontal relationships, which include political, religious, social and cultural, in addition to other cleavages, in order to build a strong bond of unity for the overall social, cultural, economic and political development of the indigenous ethnic nationalities of Adamawa State. Afroni Fire people believe in the unity of Nigeria, but it must be that kind of unity where every ethnic nationality is treated as being equal to every other ethnic nationality. Some dignitaries present lay emphasis that the aim of the group is to foster unity in diversity. The mobilization, the acceptance of the principles behind the gathering is highly accepted by almost all, by all the nationalities. We are going to maintain this uh, uh, kind of a forum so that annually we will be meeting to celebrate not only the unity of the ethnic groups, but our culture. The governor of Taraba State, Abu Kefas, represented by a former speaker of the State Assembly, highlights the essence of the Gongola People's Forum. It is uh, a, 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 a step in the right direction that together, together we can make it. Together we can unite and make this country great. Together we can unite and make the region great. Together we can unite and make our people great. That is the message. The event climaxes with the presentation of awards to illustrious citizens, state and federal lawmakers, while posthumous awards were presented to Ambassador Dan Suleiman and Marshal Alex Badi, amongst others. To fulfill the promise of restoring the livelihoods of the people of Oguni land after economic setback caused by oil pollution, the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project HYPREP is now empowering micro business owners with grants. The first 40 beneficiaries were selected from four Oguni local government areas in the state. Our correspondent Deborah Agbalama reports. The Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, HYPREP, has begun disbursing grants to support micro-businesses in Ogoni land. The first 40 beneficiaries, all market women, received their grants at an event in Wikara, Kana LGA River State. Each beneficiary goes home with 100,000 Naira, along with certificates for SME business training, which held earlier. It's one thing to be trained and receive grants and yet another to put this into good use. Hyperp urges prudence and relentlessness from the beneficiaries. We represent the resilience, strength and entrepreneurial spirit of Ghana land. Their devotion to their businesses, families and communities is truly inspiring and we are honored to support their efforts for transparency and inclusiveness. These businesses were identified on the spot at their locations in local markets across four local government areas of Ogoni land. This event is at the tail end of a process that selected market women who trade in various markets in Kana, Gokana, Thai and Elimi LGAs. These women were selected through a very transparent process 
We did an on the spot selection of these women. We visited all the markets across the four local government areas with collaboration with the market union in all these markets. And we went from shop to shop to look at what these women were doing and those that really needed this support. The beneficiaries who are ecstatic over the gesture speak on how helpful the grants will be to their businesses. When I start my business, I started from 5,000 naira with only tomato and pepper. But now, by the grace of God, I'm doing a little bigger, more than how I start. I'm very happy today that High Press has remembered me to establish my business more. HyPrep says it will continue to intensify efforts aimed at enhancing the living standards of Ogonis as this is just one of the many empowerment programs undertaken by HyPrep. They have also embarked on the training of 5,000 youths in different skills among other initiatives. Deborah Balama, Channel Television News.